Hi and welcome to another tech video. So today we are going to be looking at um, a system that we've brought back from a client who um, the machine is it's not running too bad, it's running a little bit slow but uh, they are going to be using the system to um, do a lot of photo editing so they wanted the system as fast as possible. They can't obviously upgrade the processor um, and they could certainly do with some more RAM. So currently this is a Lenovo IdeaPad 330. It's only got four gig of memory in it. Um, it's got a one terabyte spinning hard disk. It's a Core i3 processor. So our plan today for them is to up the memory to eight gig. So it gives them a little bit more headroom for when they're using it, their photo editor. And also we're gonna swap out the hard disk for an SSD drive. Now, what we've done so far, as you can see here, um, we've actually already cloned the hard disk to the SSD drive. And the next bit that we're gonna do is we're gonna shut the machine down, we're gonna open it up, and then we're going to replace the mechanical hard disk with this SSD drive. And we're gonna have a look at the memory to see if we've got some in stock, we will just add another four gig stick. If we don't have any in stock, depending on what type of memory is inside it, then we will um, order them some memory up and um, replace their current stick that they've got in there. So without further ado, let's get into the system and shut it down. So as part of our um, housekeeping, the first thing that we always do is we give the device a good clean with antibacterial wipes. Um, and then, so we clean the the outside of the device, we clean the screen, we clean the keyboard, and we also clean um, the back side as well. So all of the exterior parts and obviously uh, the keyboard. Once we're inside it, we will um, also look at the fan and if that is clogged, we will give that a clean out as well. So let's get everything disconnected. As you can see here, we've got um, we've got a nice cloth to make sure that the device is protected. And it looks like we've just got a, a load of screws around the outside. Normally, they sometimes put some screws under these um, rubber feet, uh, but we won't know until we remove what is currently in place. Okay. I can see here already that there's there is a screw missing. So I'm not sure if this device has been opened previously or whether one of the screws has just decided to work itself loose. Okay, it's probably just worked itself loose because some of these screws are actually already uh, pretty loose in here. Okay, so this screw here that I'm taking out now will be for the CD tray. So that's a smaller screw, so that goes in the other slot. And then we'll take this. Okay, so there's no there's no DVD or CD. That's just a blanking plate. Okay, so that's all the screws removed. Um, on the side down here, on the thin bezel here, there's uh, some clips that need to be carefully removed. Now that normally the cover should just lift straight up. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the laptop up and then we're going to get a prizer tool just to see if we can get in there. Okay, and then very carefully, what we've got is we've got a little spade or a little prizer tool, it's a nylon prizer tool, so um, you're not going to scratch the surface of the laptop when you're doing this, if you're very careful. So we're going to prize it under the front lip and then we are going to run it around the side and the clip should just pop out as we do that. And again around this side. Okay. 
back ones are always a bit trickier. Okay, so what we can do now is we can close the cover, we can turn the device over, and we can have a look to make sure that that is just a matter of unclipping in the corners, which it is. There we go. And that's it. Right. So now we're in. We can take the cover off. Okay, so let's have a look inside. So, the CPU cooler is uh, fairly clean, so that is just going to have a little brush out. So we've got a we've got a small brush that we use just to dislodge the dust that's in there. So that's remarkably good condition inside. They've obviously been looking after this uh, nicely, which is great. Okay, so we've got the hard disk here, and this is what we're gonna be changing. So we wanna get this out. Looks like there's a clip. Should just prise up in actual fact. So we take a small flathead screwdriver underneath the rubber edge, just to try and prise this up. There we go. You want to be careful when you take when you disconnect the ribbon cable. They are very fragile. So as we can see here, lifting it up and that will just pull out there. So here's the hard disk. As you can see here, we've got a nice foam anti-vibration damper which goes underneath it, and the rest of it, it's not even screwed in. It is literally the edges just fold over the top. So we're going to prise that out of there, like that. And the same for this side. Put this to one side because that will be returned to the client. We always return their drive and tell them to, they can either destroy it or keep it safe. And then the replacement drive will go in. So there is some little pegs in the side which just slot into the peg holes on the side of the SSD drive, so if that focuses it, there you can see the little peg and the hole, and that just pops into place like that. So that's all there is to it. The next thing we're going to raise up the SATA cable, make sure that that goes in nicely, and then Carefully reseat the drive in the drive bay. Okay, so this system, the memory is on board. So let us, let's have a look to see what memory module we need. So you can see the, the, the first memory module is part of the main board. So you get four gig um, there. So let me just check to see what memory we've got. Okay, so the memory that we need is some DDR4. What we've got here is some is a four gig stick, DDR4. Just need to make sure that it's the right speed. This is DDR2666 and that should be compatible because the system here takes 2400 and 2666 and 3200, so that should be okay. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop that in like that. So that's now, this has now got an eight gig stick and it's also got uh, four gig built in. So uh, it's now gonna have 12 gig of memory, which is plenty and will be sufficient for photo editing, certainly. Right, so before we go any further, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave everything in place. And we're gonna make sure that actually the device starts up.
which it does. So that is great. So I'm going to shut the device down. There we go. And then we're going to get the cover back on, screw it all back together, and then that's all there is to it. So the cover goes on the same way it came off, believe it or not. We're just going to carefully go around the edges, clip everything into place, like that. And then we're going to open it up, and we're going to make sure that the corners and it's all clipped into place around the edge before we start attaching the screws. Okay, so unfortunately I don't have a replacement screw for it, but that's that's absolutely fine. So let's get this turned over. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get logged in. Okay, so here we are in the system. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go and check out to make sure that our memory has, is showing correctly. And there we can see we've got our 12 gig of memory now. Um, so that's an additional eight installed. Now we're going to go and have a look at our task manager and see that we've got no, make sure we've got no bottlenecks. So we open up Task Manager, as we can see here, disk is at 1%, um, there's no bottlenecks on the system at all, memory is at uh, a mere 25% after adding that additional 8 gig, and the CPU processor is doing its thing, starting up um, applications in the background. So that's all there is to this video. Um, so what we're going to be doing next is, it's just a matter of, tidying things up. We've got some password things to um, sort out. Also, um, given another COVID clean. Um, but apart from that, that's all there is to that video. If you want to see how we clone the drive to the SSD, then check out our channel. Just do a search for cloning and you will find um, a couple of videos on how we go about cloning um, the hard disk to the SSD drive and what we do, uh, what software we use to enable that. Apart from that, just like to say thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next one.